Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the beach. No, not the beach. Just kidding. We're on a 1v1 replay today and today's going to be a little bit different. We're not watching the usual uh, pro level matches like Boyka, Big Size, all these kind of players. Today we're actually watching, I say slightly lower level, but actually Satanic is a, is a very strong opponent. He actually won a uh, some kind of a tournament. I think it was like a no expert tournament or something like that, but he was like, he was like the winner of it. Or was it semi-level tournament, something like that? But today we're going to be focusing on the player called Tease. He's a follower of the channel. He's pretty much in every stream chat and every uh, YouTube video comments, all that kind of stuff. Big supporter and a big nice guy. Um, I say big nice guy. I don't know if he's actually big, but yeah, he's, not, he's, a, he's a very nice guy, I meant to say. We've got a GLA for him down in the bottom right with the purple color. And then up in the uh, top left, going to be hard because Satanic, like I said, of the, of the outside of the experts and outside of the pros, uh, Satanic actually was the winner of that tournament I'm talking about. I can't remember what it was called, but he's very, very strong. Uh, so we're going to be watching this and we're going to be helping out Tease. He wanted to know what can he do better in this replay. I don't know if he wins or loses. I'm going to probably guess maybe he does lose, but whether he wins, loses, or it's a draw or a <laughs> yeah, stalemate, which uh, you know I like. Um, we're going to try and uh, help him out. So... We're going to watch this replay all the way through, and if we need to, we'll uh, re-watch it later on. I'll point out bits um, bits that we may need to. First of all, I'm noticing, actually, fake arms dealer uh, and, and, a, and a real one. So the first thing I'm noticing for tease is actually if you leave your, leave your arms dealer fake for too long, your first technical is going to be out late, and you're probably going to be running around after the enemy technical. Most of the time at the top level, this will probably be an empty technical on this map just running around trying to deny oils and trying to kill all these workers to get a lot of value out of that but in this case he's actually gone for a tnt down at the bottom left and has basically kicked t's off this position uh straight away i actually really like that demo trap deployed in the base here of t's technical chemistry for satanic Kills one of the rebels, but the rebel has already captured the oil. So we've got a two oil lead at the moment for Tease. Uh, at the moment, you know, I would be panicking a little bit of Tease uh, if I was Tease because having my tunnel TNT there, you know, if this game goes late, the, the enemy's got a 60k advantage. So this technical probably should be coming in the back here, dropping off a worker. But we'll focus on improvements and stuff a little bit later on. Uh, Satanic. He's doing most of the power moves at the moment, most of the power plays. The, he, he's thought in advance he wants to TNT this tunnel. That's very, very good thinking. He's gone with the Toxin Tractor here in the middle. This technical has not achieved a lot. Uh, I don't know if he scrapped and I don't know or not. I don't think he did, actually. Well, he tried it, but he but got... Um, but he got uh, taken. Palace now being built by T's. And he's floating 6k as well. Um... Yeah, I'd still be panicking at this point because you've lost the middle. There's a supply there. Needs a toxin tractor there. And also that technical that came through before needs to be dropping off a worker here and dropping off a worker here. Trying to reclaim this. I, I would be in a bit of panic mode. Not... Well, I probably maybe would be dropping down the palace if I got 6k. Uh, but yeah, I'd be uh, losing ground. That's good. Clearing that in the middle. Getting some RPGs in the in here whilst also building a tunnel. But definitely probably would have attempted by now to at least get this back. There's a demo trap right in front of him there. And the demo trap goes off in the main base, kills a quad. Is which one's the demo again? He's GLA. So yeah, Satanic is the demo. Demo trap goes off over here. The technical just runs straight over it though, but it's just running straight into a tunnel. It's going to die for pretty much nothing. But I think uh, with the multitasking, he's paying attention in the middle. Building there gets flushed out. Toxin tractor v toxin tractor. We've got a vet to toxin tractor. You don't see that every day. If you're going to do any kind of a push here now, I can tell you right now, it needs to be more beefy uh, of an attack than this. Um, I'm not quite sure a rebel on a bike with two quads and a toxin tractor is enough to push his position. But saying that, it looks like Satanic hasn't really got a response for it at the moment. 
So oh, that's, a, that's a mistake here for Satanic. Always want to have a, a full tunnel at this stage in the game. At least one full tunnel at any stage of most games. Just live by that rule and you'll win more games than not. Uh, than not. You can't just be living on just a couple of units. Like, very weird there from Satanic. So Tease has been gifted a bit of a victory here. I don't mean the whole match, but I mean in terms of this battle down here. He has been gifted some land and gifted some XP, I think. Because uh, I, I think that shouldn't happen. I think T should already be probably losing the game. Um, Because just think, if, if Satanic had popped a load of units there and defended against that attack... How bad would that be looking for T's now? His army would be thin on the ground. This supply would still be in play. Uh, T's going to go and push down the middle. Realizing the Satanic's low on units. He's only got one unit still in his tunnel. I just find it a bit weird. From uh, Satanic. Yeah, definitely keep pushing here. Usually you would push left and kill this oil next. Satanic going for a counter to clear a tunnel here, but he is going to lose an oil for it, though. The top bridge remains pretty much uncontested. And Tease is actually going to continue to push into the base. This is actually looking pretty okay. How many units has Satanic got? He has got a few. Battle bus is out. I'm not convinced he's got enough RPGs for it, though. Uh, Tease could actually kill him here, <laughs> you know. Okay, there's the Jarman. It's the veterancy on these quads. If you, get, if you get a decent line now and engage those quads, you're probably going to win. But when that battle bus comes into play, though, mm, quads can't do a lot against that. And the Jarman could snipe one of the vetted quads. The Jarman definitely should be sniping one of the vetted quads. That one there. Don't want to go too close, though. Or is he going to detonate? I think he's going to detonate. Oh, no, wait. Who's... That's actually teasers. Snipes the battle bus, RPGs go down, and actually Tease wins that engagement. Uh, definitely should be expanding here. Uh, both players are not level 3 yet, so we don't need to CC and bounty money just yet. That supply needs selling. That supply needs selling. Let's get an extra... How much do you get back? 6.50. But I think all the way through this match, there should be workers heading down here. Always trying to get in sneaky positions to try it. Um, ideally in the back here, because the front's quite hard to crack now. Um... I mean, if you can kill the enemy base here, then that's also good. <laughs> yeah, no expansion on that mid-supply yet. Big engagement now. Big, important engagement. Focusing down the battle bus, but that means these quads here are able to get better and actually eat the quads from the side. And these buggies now a little bit too close to range, but actually, Satani just decides to retreat. Loads of scrap here. Could be getting that with the buggies. So you get $70 or $76 or whatever per piece of scrap. It's a nice little bit of uh, a cash boost there. Definitely thinks Titanic shouldn't be vet, uh, shouldn't be scrapping up his vet, vetted quads. Makes it weaker. Makes it do less damage. See, so yeah, a bit of a mistake there from Satanic. Should be scrapping up those, those quads, the weak ones. Just due to a bug in the game. Um, but has T's run out of steam a little bit at the moment? He's gone heavy buggies, now focusing down in the bottom left position. John McKellar's out, although he keeps going a little bit too close to things. He should have been back here and sniping a quad. These quads are going to push T's back. Could pop him from there, weakening this army a little bit. Because if you wait any longer, these quads are just going to push here. And then you've got no backup tunnel here. 
The next one's right, right back in your base. So you're going to lose all of this ground now. He's actually deciding to go for a counter attack. But the demo bikes are on the way. That could be bad. That could be bad. One buggy, two, three buggies. Mm. And Satanic is now past level three. So if he do, does a CC, he's going to have Rebel Ambush. And that's going to be very bad. Yeah, talking about the army advantage here, I actually think it's kind of balanced. Demopite kills the Shaman. Nice. Control fired the ground, I believe. I actually think it's kind of balanced. The GLA wants to be taking advantage uh, early on of the cheaper units and stuff. You don't want to be letting it go to late game. Because late game is very possible on this map. It's quite like a campy map. Because of the different bridges and stuff, it's quite easy to do some tunnels and bunker it off. So you're probably going to get into the late game. And that means demo rebel ambush, demo bikes, and demo scud launchers and demo super weapons are all going to be in play. So as the GLA, you want to be taking advantage early. Making the most of the cheaper units. Winning the majority of quad v quad battles, squad versus squad battles, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Satanic constantly uh, trying to take ground throughout this throughout this game with the Toxin Tractor just because he sees bunkered buildings doesn't mean he can't um, can't retake that ground. Definitely wants to be sending that army back now, Satanic, because it looks like he's going to lose his base. It's actually turned out to be quite a nice replay. Oh, Oh, baby. Uh, that could be it. That could be teased out. He doesn't have a lot of markets behind this. We've got two. Satanic floating 6.5k. Yeah, then we're like Rebel Ambush wiped out the whole army and Jarman sniped the battle bus. Tease has been defeated. Right, I'm going to have a little think. I'm going to write you down some things defeated. and then we're going to jump back in at the key points where I think and then um, show where I think Tease could have done could have done a little bit better. Okay, so jumping back into this, I've just quickly on the, on the notepad on the other screen wrote down a couple of things. So the very first thing is the overall build order here. So what I'd be thinking if I was Tease is after watching many, many top level replays and playing this map a lot of times against against strong players, GLA Mirrors, I think one of the best build orders here is to go for one rebel to capture the oil and just make one rebel and the capture of Braid and literally that's it. You could make a terrorist first if you want to send it to the middle and try and deny some map control. But I think what Tease does here is making multiple rebels. So he's made one terrorist, then he's made two rebels, which th this isn't like absolutely awful. It's it's not it's not bad, but the, the thing is because he's made this tunnel, this tunnel, this tunnel, and this tunnel, and made two rebels, is leaving himself too low on cash. What I would prefer to see is to skip that tunnel because in the early game it did absolutely nothing, and it's not going to defend against the TNT anyway. What's wrong with skipping that tunnel and skipping? that rebel there which will probably get denied against the top player anyway because the technical will come straight down the middle as soon as he sees it and it'll get denied and that's if it doesn't die to the rpgs inside of here and or a terrorist from the middle so i'd be making just one rebel uh you could even skip that terrorist you could argue that terrorist isn't even going to reach like there for example but you could get him inside of a building and stop the enemy from taking that and then you could also take that and then put one rpg inside of that and then you've dominated the whole middle from the beginning so maybe a terrorist is optimal but one, one rebel to save an extra $150 or $200 or whatever it is and get that one guaranteed, skip that tunnel and then therefore get your arms dealer up faster. And also he's on seven workers there. That's too many for the first opening seconds of the game. You could probably get get away with five or six there in the, in the opening minutes because it's very, very important to get that arms dealer out as fast as possible. You see now, how much cash you got now? He's got 2K. How's he got 2K? What is he just... Is he upgrading that now? Oh, he is upgrading that now. But... Enemy technical's already here. Okay, so he's upgraded it very late. Now, the thing is, in GLA Mirrors, a big thing that I always think about is getting the technical out first and letting the enemy chase it around his base is very, very important. Um, also, that worker there could have built a tunnel. Just realized that. So that, that's the first thing, getting that technical out sooner. This TNT on this tunnel could not be really stopped, I don't think. 
Some a way to counter it would be I've seen big size sometimes he will build a tunnel there. Or maybe even a little bit further back, actually. It's more guaranteed to get up and you can get the RPGs in there sooner. But that that can't really be helped. You can't really know if your opponent's going to TNT that or not. And it can happen. Um, but what, what some people do is actually do a second worker just way back here. It could well be that it's not needed at all. But a second worker just in the back. Um, and if that one get, goes down, then you can immediately start building something else. Highly likely the opponent won't see it. And the, that person usually <laughs> ends up still winning this, winning this position. But if you didn't send a backup worker and that did get TNT'd, then the next thing I'd be thinking is my next technical needs to be loaded with RPGs and a worker. Drop off a worker, maybe drop off another worker and get some RPGs in this building and keep fighting for it throughout the whole game. Because if we have a look here, that's 30k. That's 30k. That's 30k. And that's 30k. So there's more money. So the same amount of money here as there is on that supply and that supply added together. Okay, we're not taking into account these crates. These crates are a little bonus. But the, the two main supplies equal the same amount as on that supply and that supply are both plays. So th this island is highly, highly important. Not to mention when you're in these buildings and build a few tunnels and get both supplies, it's basically an impregnable defense. It's like really, really difficult to retake. So I'd be consistently, constantly trying to retake this position once that got TNT. But that TNT can't really be stopped. You could argue... When those TNT, when those terrorists came out of the technical, that was on a hundred percent. You could have cancelled it to stop the to stop the technical, um, to stop him getting the XP because straight away there is 100, 164. But then he would have also had the terrorists. He could have TNT your oil, which could have been worse. So yeah, I don't know. You see how this technical comes in? Now sometimes it might even be able to de deny that. He could have denied it. He could have denied it, which is another reason why you don't want to make two uh, two rebels. Because imagine if you make one terrorist, two rebels, and they both get denied. That could have been denied, but it's bad play there by Satanic because he just sat there shooting it with the gun. He could have run over it, and it could have stopped it. So it's another reason why you just want to run, rush out one oil and then use that same rebel then to go in a tunnel and capture another oil. I think that's the best opening. If you see Axcal play, he does that every single game. Uh, the next point I wrote down is hold in the middle against the Toxin Tractor. So at this point, you should at least have a couple of technicals out. Your two oils up, so you should have more units. He has no units whatsoever. But a couple of technicals here on that will force it away. And you can also evac these until the Toxin Tractor is dead and then put them back in. So yeah, could have hold against that. But it does happen. Sometimes you don't see a Toxin Tractor come in. But then it's an immediately another decent play there by Satanic and some ground lost and lose the middle oil there as well. And it's actually very lucky that that building actually can't fire on that tunnel because then you are really in trouble. You need to then drop a technical, dropping off a worker. This technical, not really sure what it was doing too much. It just kind of waypointed in and just, just, just taken down. Didn't really achieve a lot. Um, the next thing I wrote down is like building a palace here. Well, f floating that much cash for a start is not not a good idea, especially when you've when you've lost all the key places. You've lost this, and you've lost this, and you start building a palace. I, if that was the, if that was my teammate on three v three Defcon, when we just lost the whole middle, and my mate starts building a palace, I'd go absolutely berserk. Uh, when you've lost those ground that that ground and that ground, you need to be thinking, you know what? I need to gain some ground now. Is time for a second or even a third arms dealer. Um, and then dropping a worker here and pushing and winning the engagements. You need to be using the advantage of GLA, which is a cheaper um, quads, cheaper scorpions, uh, cheaper technicals, cheaper everything. You need to be using that. So at any tier one battle between now and the six minute mark, you need to be winning. Um, I mean, technicals do come in, kill some workers, can't really always be helped unless you spot it in advance. He did retake this ground, but then it gets flushed open again. But there is also a Toxin Tractor to here for T's. Now, th this engagement was bad. You don't want to be engaging just with a few units. It's, it, it, it worked out in this case, but against the top player, they're not going to have just one quad in the, in the tunnel. It was a mistake there from Satanic. He should have had a full tunnel. That army would have been wiped out. I mean, can you even call it an army? Two quads and a, and a Toxin. Directed, that army should be uh, completely stopped. So that I don't really like this attack. Satanic should have been better prepared for it. I'm very surprised Satanic only had one unit inside of his tunnel. Very, very weird. Um, the next thing is when you take ground, expand immediately. So now that tunnel's cleared. 
I'd be immediately thinking, okay, maybe maybe a tunnel like there, grab them two buildings and then expand straight away into a supply. Or you could even argue, put them two RPGs in there and then build a supply straight away. But all this time goes by, like let's say it was cleared at 6.30. All this time goes by and there's no supply here in the middle. Now there's a supply. But it's like, what, from 6.30 all the way up to like 10 minutes? Yeah. Just uh, get it, get it, and um, get it in your head. When you when you take ground, expand immediately. Okay, I've ju I've just take taken this ground. You all also want to be thinking, like when it, when it was, when there was a push, and then it also killed that oil. Re you you want to be able to reinforce that army with a tunnel, so you can also bring a worker and build a tunnel there as well. And you can build that tunnel using the money you've you've spent on building a supply and investing in getting supplies from here. So that that is paying for your expansion if, if someone's going to say okay well i haven't got enough money to send a worker and build a tunnel and keep reinforcing yeah well you could have taken that supply for it three or four minutes earlier and that can um, that can all pay for it uh i think that is it um satanic is a very good player and he probably would beat the majority of players uh here in this particular replay it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world but i'm convinced if those seven or eight things that i mentioned are done i think this could be a win here for um tease and also don't don't be afraid of when you're playing someone else don't be afraid of stealing what satanic did Go, going for a tnt on that tunnel and kicking the, the opponent off this position immediately against other players they might not expect it and then and it may send them into a panic and uh, uh, then you've got to be aware of all the tips that i've given that they they that person would then once you've tnt their tunnel would then probably be trying to reinforce it with a worker and bring another technical and they're pro probably consistently going after it so then just hold it and just deny all them workers and uh use the tips in the in their in the reverse and i think if you do all them things i am convinced this is uh winnable this is not xcal or size or boyker or fargo we're looking at here it's satanic and although he's very very good everyone's human and everyone's beatable so this was definitely a uh winnable match and it was a good attempt here from uh, from tease but needs a little bit extra work and he could definitely get the win. So yeah, hopefully helps that uh, helps tease there. Hopefully it helps some of uh, some of you other players with GLA as well. And if you've got any other comments, that's nice TNT that I missed actually. That's a nice TNT that I missed. Sometimes you see Scud launchers on this particular map and matchup as well. Scud launcher from there popped, kill, killing this is very, very difficult to, to, to deal with. And as soon as a buggy comes out, just go back inside of your tunnel. And uh, Scud launcher is very, very decent as well. So yeah, GG well played. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you've got any other tips, let us know as well. And I'll see you in the next one.